All right, hey there guys, this is Hates Wanderings. If you're new, welcome to the channel. We fish for bass, pike, walleye, muskie, and anything else. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again, you guys rock. So today, we are gonna learn how to catch a muskie. If you've never caught a muskie before, this is not for veteran muskie anglers. You guys are gonna hear what I say and you're probably gonna disagree with me. So. If that's you, go watch a different video. But if you've never caught a muskie and you want to catch a muskie, I have a few tips for you guys. So listen up, here they are. Tip number one, and I think this is the biggest tip that you can give a new muskie angler is, and this is gonna sound odd, so wait with me, don't fish for muskie. If you want to catch a muskie, don't fish for musky. I've said it. Uh, and you might say to yourself, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. No, hear me out, hear me out. Musky fishing is hard. It takes long hours and it's not very rewarding, especially at the beginning. You might fish all day long, not see a fish, not have any action. And that can be demoralizing, absolutely demoralizing even for a veteran musky angler, but they know that, you know, every once in a while you'll have that extreme payoff, but it's hard. So I tell you, don't fish for musky if you want to catch a musky. Well, most musky anglers, and again, this is just anecdotally, but most musky anglers don't catch their first musky on an 18 inch bulldog like this. This is over a pound lure. They don't use this. Most musky anglers catch their first musky on something like that. This is a tiny bass or walleye jig. Um, and you might say, why Why are musky biting at this? Why do people catch most of their musky, their first musky that is, on something like this? The truth is, most people catch their first musky incidentally, meaning they're not even fishing for them. And that is my biggest, my biggest tip for you out there that have never caught a musky. Don't fish for musky. Instead, go fishing for bass, for smallmouth, for walleye, for pike in an area, and this is in crucial, in an area that also holds musky. If you fish for those other species, you're going to catch them. And sooner or later, you're also going to catch a musky. And it's so much more rewarding, in my opinion, when you go out and you fish for walleye or pike or bass and you catch 10, 15, 20 fish and then you get that one musky instead of fishing all day long throwing 18 inch or 12 inch long lures and not getting anything. Um, it's important. You have to fish in a location with musky to catch a musky, even on these small things. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, downsize your expectations and downsize your lures as well. Downsizing your expectations looks like this. Um, don't expect to catch a 50 inch musky. Uh, I have been musky fishing for uh, about uh, I don't know, 10 years now, uh, I have never caught a 50 inch muskie because I don't fish in waters that hold many 50 inch muskie, um, but also because they're absolutely rare, except for some locations, they're absolutely rare. If you want to catch a muskie, downsize your expectation. Go for a 30, 36 inch fish. That's, that's a three foot long fish, which is an awesome fish. Is it a monster musky? No. It's actually a fairly petite musky in, in certain places, but it is still a fish and it's worthy of an awesome picture. So downsize those expectations. You can catch 36 inch musky um, in a day of fishing. It might take a very long time, <clears throat> very long time to catch that 50 inch musky. Now, I said downsize your lures as well, and that's very important when it comes to musky fishing. Many people, rightfully so, think that musky fishing is only with huge lures, huge lures, 
huge lures, but you are going to catch just as many or many more musky, smaller musky that is, using smaller lures. And I'm going to get a couple out to show you guys. All right, so this right here is a 190 size whopper plopper. This right here is a 90 size whopper plopper. The hooks on this 190 are nearly half the length of this lure right here. This 90 size whopper plopper has caught more musky um, for me by far than something bigger like this. Does this have a place in the location? Definitely. But if you're just going to catch a fish for the first time, downsize the lures, okay? Especially earlier in the season, especially in the summer, um, downsize those lures will do so much better for you. Third tip, if you want to catch a muskie and you want to do it fast, get help. There are two ways, two great ways that you can find help to find a muskie. Um, Musky fishermen are actually really, really uh, outgoing with their information. Almost everybody catches and releases. So there isn't that same pressure, you know, you wouldn't have like a walleye guy that would give you their, you know, fishing spot, for instance. But musky anglers are a little bit more forthcoming. Go to a musky club or join a musky club online or uh, find a guide. Any of those places, if you would go to them and say, hey, I'm a newbie, I'm an absolute newbie, could somebody take me out fishing? I guarantee you'll have somebody that'll say, hey, you know what? Let's meet up. Let's get fishing. Obviously, after the coronavirus, go and you know meet up with a musky club. They will put you on fish, um, and they're really good guys out there. So do that. That's a great way. Number one. Don't fish for musky. Number two, downsize your expectations. Downsize your lure. Number three, find someone to take you fishing. Musky online forums, musky clubs, or a fishing guide. Now, the fourth way to really find a musky for your first time, and I really, really feel this, fish a river system. Um, river systems tend to have in my experience, more fish, but much smaller fish. So what happens is when you go musky fishing, you fish bodies of water that are either trophy potential with low numbers of fish or areas with high numbers, but low size. Do you fish the trophy waters or do you fish the waters that hold more fish? And that's the question for you. If you've never musky fished before, do not go for the trophy sized fish, okay? That's going to be an exercise in frustration. Instead, downsize those expectations, go to a place that holds more fish per acre, and your chances of catching a fish are much, much higher. Um, so those, those ways will get you a fish. Um, don't fish with these massive lures. It's so frustrating. Fish with a lure that is a bass-sized or a pike-sized lure, and you will catch that first fish. Now, before we go, there's something that all potential musky anglers need to know. If you're fishing in water that has the potential to hold musky, you need to have three tools with you. You must have long pliers. They think these are like, I don't know, 11 inch pliers. You need to have jaw spreaders is what they're called. I have tape on these so they don't puncture the fish so much. Third thing, this is what every musky angler needs. These are Nipex pliers, bolt cutters. They will clip any hook. You must have these things if you are musky fishing. Um, even if you've never caught a musky, invest in those three, uh, tools because they will save the muskie's life once you actually catch the fish um, and they're also you know save yourself from having to go to the er also get a good net nets are important do not use a little walleye net if you're fishing in a place with muskie get the proper tools and after that those fish 
will come your way. Please leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions when it comes to musky fishing, anything at all. If you've never caught a fish, let me know and I'll see if I can help you guys on that journey. All right, thanks for watching guys. Thanks so much. Please leave a like, uh, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Hates Wanderings. As always, catch release wander. I'll see you guys in the next one.